serve your purpose here today? Yeah, it's a dating advice, right? Yeah! Today, yeah! we are going to show the whole world how much we really know about relationships. I'll go first. Uh -huh. Kenya, I have okay. been in one relationship, and I'm currently single. I'm also a virgin. Okay. So how about you? People call me forever single, and I'm single as well. <laughs> We can do this. We're professional. Okay, number one. As a male, how do I accept a proposal? Well, here's my advice. Just say no. Why would you date what? a woman? And second so. off, if they're a man, say no. Because you never know if they're a woman in a trench coat. So what do you think? Never date with anybody. Date is cringe. <laughs> Stay single forever and watch my stream and Philly stream. That's it, Dale. Just watch our what streams. <laughs> Exactly! Watch our stream forever and ever. Next question! How do you stop getting friend zoned by every human being you talk to? <laughs> Notice it said girl slash guy. I'm getting the vibe that this was a man who was so desperate for any relationship, he started asking the effing guys for effing things. If you're getting really tired of them friend zoning you every time, I would buy an unmarked white man a bag of candy and then just go, you know, fishing for humans. I think that's honestly not a bad solution. What about you, Henya? I'm the one people friend zoning me. You know how the VTuber always like react like an audience asking them to get married and stuff like that? Yeah. The VTuber goes like, oh, I can't marry to audience. So sorry like that. And then I was asking that to the chat and they're like, uh, where's my marriage proposal from my chat? And they're like, nah, you're just my friend. Uh, I'm getting friends <laughs> from my chat. So actually, I need advice. Uh, <laughs> I'm the one who need advice for this one. Chat. Give me a one if you would date me. <laughs> Give me a um a two if you would date me. <laughs> okay, give me a one if you would date me. Uh, give me a two if you would date me. Give me a one, two, one, two, one, two. Stop typing three. <laughs> How to date a furry? I think I'm gonna let Fillion answer for this one. Why? She somehow I think she knows about this really a lot. So go ahead, Dayo. Fillion. Uh, what? Yeah, so, answer, Dayo. Wait a second. What is that on your head right now? What is this? You know, every YouTuber perhaps wearing it though. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can't just rip off your ears like they're leaves fall to the floor in the summer. <laughs> what about the one you have it right now on your head? Oh. Uh, how to date a furry. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is make a voodoo doll out of them, stick it in a jar, and then yeah. give it to them as a gift, as a token of your oh. appreciation. You make merch for them. They really, girl, dude, furries love merch. All right, so apparently chat, that's how you get the date with oh. furry dial. Next one, so you're eating at McDonald's and you get to the last nugget. Who takes it, the guy or the girl? I would just punch her in the face and swallow it. What do you think? Me. I'll take it. None of no, you. No, I'll take me. it. Give it to me. No, I'll take it. Yeah, I, I'll take it's it. Mine. Mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. No good. Okay. Me. But Henya, assuming mm. you're like in a relationship where you're not Henya, like what if you're like an like an average Twitch chatter, right? Uh, so you're a guy, right? Do you take the nugget or give it? Do you give it to your girlfriend? I'll take it. Even if you're it's the. My fault. But no, but you maybe you're splitting the nuggets. Like maybe you guys bought the twenty piece together. You know. But it's the last one, right? Yeah. It's the last one. Yeah. Then I'll take it. All right. Me too. Yeah. Yep. No, I respect <laughs> that answer. She sticks to it. As an adult, how does one find time to dedicate to dating? Making a time for dating? Yeah. Like how do you find time to actually date someone when you're an adult? You're busy, you know? We're working and stuff, I guess. Oh, mm. how about this? Date someone at your job. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Uh-huh. So, you want to go out sometime? Work or quit your job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe you just have to give up your hobbies. Stop playing League of Legends. Maybe shave your beard. Start a Ponzi scheme. Make a million dollars in a week. Move to the Moroccan Islands. Find a girl there. You have no job, a lot of money, and the U.S. government can't catch you. Wait, really? Yeah! Really? Yeah, yeah. So if you want to make a lot of money, Henya, what you're going to want to do is you start a pyramid scheme. You get a lot of people to buy into it, right? Like, like Crypto Zoo. Cool. Okay. Cool. And then okay. you take all of your money and you use a mm -hmm. shell business account to sort of funnel your money into a bunch of shell companies. For example, you make a company and you pay them mm -hmm. a bunch of money 
for like drawing an apple, right? And then those companies are founded in other countries, so the money is now offshore. So then once the government realizes you're committing tax fraud and evasion, you're gonna wanna move to a different country where US jurisdiction does not apply, such as Romania. Oh, yes. I'm getting financial wow. advice though. I'm taking notes right now. Whoa, 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 okay. You can do this, but only once, because you're in jail after that. Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> Fillion. Oh, they spelled my name right. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm a very quiet guy. Even a monk. He's sus. He weren't a monk's. Even among, among my like friends. Do you guys have any advice for the quiet guys out there? Yeah. Buy a gun. No. Do you know Blue's Clues? Oh, uh, the blue dog one? Yeah, the blue dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah! Perra so Would you want to be Steve from Blue's Clues? Yeah, why not? You get the great chair and the blue dog. I'm pretty sure you're just a random dude in his apartment having a meth trip. I don't even think Blue's real. What? What? It's not true? Do you think a blue dog that paw prints the camera screen and like the house is made out of cardboard is real? Also, he has a great chair. The red chair he had. His chair is made out of paper mache and lies. He looks like a meth addict having his last trip after an OD. I hate real life, Dio. You want to do some heroin? Thank you. Cool. Whoa! Oh, okay, wait. Okay, so here, yeah, so you gotta become friends first, and then what? How are you making your move, Anya? Do you know, like, some people can see your future from your hand? Oh, palm reading! Palm oh. reading! Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah! I didn't do that and just grabbed your hand, and now you're doing a hand holding. Oh! Yeah! And That's if you do it while you're holding a knife, it works extra well. A knife? Yeah, like for, like, a butter knife, you're, like, making a cream cheese bagel. Yeah! Girls love cream cheese bagels. Ooh, I gotta try that. I never had that before. You've never had cream cheese bagels? No, I never had it before. Oh, have you ever had a cream pie? Hey, yo, what the? No, not a lot of cream stuff I did before. Oh, okay, yeah. No, uh, I, I haven't either, so let's go. I'm going on a date. Congratulations. Chat. Yay. We just lost one VTuber viewer. All right, we're gonna be watching Henya's stream all night while eating Reese's. <laughs> Wait. What the? It's my favorite. And we don't have it too. in Japan. They're the best. <laughs> Their reasons are the best. My yeah, I know, right? We don't have it in Japan. Oh, really? Man. Yeah. No Reese's too. What? Wait, how even had Reese's? My Reese's smuggler from V Shoujo and my dad. <laughs> Head is gonna get diabetes from American candy. <laughs> Unlucky. Now I have a lot of Reese's smuggler, <laughs> Dale. Now all I need is a girlfriend first. <laughs> Wait, what? What the? Imagine it's like shoving a Reese's down this thing's gullet. <laughs> Aw, that's cute. The fastest way to get a girlfriend that's into VTubers is to date a VTuber. I mean, I'm right here. I do love VTubers. And also, I'm single. And I do love Reese's. Yeah, yeah would you date a chatter? As long as they have a Reese's. Oh, parasocial! I got four side <laughs> What do you do if your date's mom is there secretly keeping watch? Oh, you just make out with right right in front of her. You gotta establish dominance. <gasps> you make direct eye contact. <laughs> wait, wait. Invite her to join. Stop! Oh That's God. not no, no, you never invite a mother's to join her daughter. Get help. <laughs> get help? Yeah, get help. Stop though. Oh yeah. What is this? How do I convince my girlfriend to do butt stuff? I'm, I'm, um, uh, but, yeah, but, wait, but, uh, wait, uh, but, uh, about that? You know why they call it butt stuff? I, I think so. Because they stuff the butt. Stuff the butt. Stuff the butt. Okay. You would probably ask, and if she said no, that's probably it, and you probably should just break up, I guess. I don't know. What do you say? Yeah, just ask her if she's okay and go for it. She's not, then bye-bye. Here are the facts, chat. Girls don't have butts. Buttholes. I don't know what your problem is. Stop making it weird. No buttholes. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> My girlfriend randomly throws herself at a wall sometimes. Is she good? Uh -oh. Should I get a life insurance policy in her name? Probably not. Like, if she was throwing herself at a cliff, it would be different, right? Mm -hmm. But if she was throwing herself at walls, that means she's... That means she's a streamer. 
You got it, Dio. I got you what? Got brain damage? damage? Yeah, no. How do I know yep. what's wrong with me? That's the thing. You don't. All right. Watch. <laughs> chat. It's really simple. Chat, can you guys tell me what's wrong with me? It's that simple. You just got to ask him. Yes is not an answer. A lot. Your head. My head? What's wrong with my head? You're a streamer? What? Your height? What? What? The? Everything. All right. Next. Question. Para Henya. Henya, I want to date your mom. Any advice? The advice is no. She's married. Question for filling with two L's. I want to date Henya's mom. Any advice? <laughs> what the fuck? Just tell him no. Okay, yes. What the frick, Lillian? She's married. Why well, everybody tried to take away my mom? Have you ever heard of polygamy? No. What is it? If you're polygamous, you have many partners. She could believe in polygamy, and it would work out just fine. What do you think? Would you do it with your mom for that one? Okay, <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> How do I meet new girls? I'm out of school, work remotely, and don't drink alcohol. Okay, drive to a Starbucks. Done. Oh, yeah. If you uh, were the... trying to meet girls, Henya, where would you go? Victoria's Secret. That's that so nail. creepy. Victoria's Secret nail. Imagine oh, walking to Victoria's there. Secret. The women are like holding up lingerie, and you're like, hey there, sweet cheeks. Bet that would look pretty good on you. Why don't you go try that on? Maybe daddy will buy it. There's <laughs> a bunch of girls in there. Go there, Dale. You probably get arrested for creeping. <laughs> I'm a 27-year-old virgin. How old is too old to be a virgin? Well, three more years and you'll be a effing wizard at that point, so. Wait, in Japan, we say that too. Wait, really? Yeah. You're a wizard if you're like a virgin until 30. <laughs> nice. You rich superpowers. If you had a superpower from being a virgin at age 30, what would it be? Good question. My power would be to lose my virginity. <laughs> How cool is that? For me, I just want to summon the Reese's anytime I want because I don't have it in here. Wait, that makes sense. So you can just spawn in Reese's. Okay, well, I want to spawn in Skittles never, and never fruit snacks. Like yeah, probably being wizard is not that bad. Maybe if you're in Jesus and you're like 3,000 years old, you're still a virgin, you're pushing it. But besides that, I think you're good. It's a micro a deal breaker. <laughs> Micro deal breaker. They mean if you have a very microscopic sized pee pee, aka very tiny, you can barely see mm -hmm. it. Is it enough to ruin the relationship? <laughs> Listen, man, if it looks like a pen cap, then... I don't know. It's up to your partner. It is, it's your, if your partner is okay, then you're good. Wait for 2077 when cyberpunk becomes real and you can get a cybernetic peepee. -pee. Next one. How do I know it's okay to approach a woman without bothering her? Hey there, pretty mama. Let me whisper in your ear. I'm a creep across the floor so I can whisper to your ear. What do you think? <laughs> At the end of the day, like, you have to understand that women are humans too, and unless you're doing something that would bother you, it probably doesn't bother them. Yeah, wait. Maybe just ask her. If she's well, not whenever, up whenever, to it, whenever, just whenever, leave whenever, her alone, whenever, I guess. If you like someone, do you think you could actually ask them? I, I think I'm too shy to ask, I think. <laughs> what the, why are you telling everyone to ask? <laughs> because I want to see people failing. <laughs> yeah! That's she's my sinister. <laughs> she's sinister, Dale. Holy frick. So, there's this girl I like, ooh, at school. And the teacher, oh. she was a real bro. Was real able to bro. seat us next to each other. Okay, he's in. What is my next step in asking her out? Bro! It's it in the question! I have been seeing the teacher after school a couple times, but it's not that s the teacher? Wait, what? Wait, teacher? He likes the teacher. I really like her. Bro. And whenever I close my eyes, I start getting these crazy thoughts about our future together. What? Uh, this teacher? You don't think she'll mind that I'm homeschooled, right? Uh, ah. Wait, they're homeschooled! Oh, no! The teacher? Wait a darn second! Oh, no. Oh, hey, no. So, like, what's the first letter of the alphabet? Eh. What is, like, the seventh letter of the alphabet? T. What is the first letter of the alphabet again? What is the second letter of the alphabet? B. What is the first letter of the alphabet? A. What is the fourteenth letter of the alphabet? B. What? What is the first letter of the alphabet? <laughs> A. Yeah! Alcababa! 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 The M in Alabama stands for mom. The B stands for brother. Oh, no. The A oh, stands no. for all of them. My L stands God. for little sister. How to get lemon when anime consumes you. Just give money to a VTuber. It's just, that's it. 
<laughs> You've done it, bro. <laughs> you're like, you're like stage four terminal, man. <laughs> just go to the conventions and buy the body pillows. Just effing call it a day. Yeah, get the body pillow, Bill. <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> it's stage it's four, we... Body pillow. What? What? I see it on chat. I don't have a body pillow. But I see it on chat. You see people typing. Oh, oh, there it is. Where? What? I see it on chat. Oh, is it a mode? Bro! <laughs> Some random dude made a body pillow of me. I didn't even consent. <laughs> I didn't even say yes, man. <laughs> okay. So yeah, get that one there. Henya, how's your brain doing right now? I got it. I have an IQ 99. I had a close friend a few years ago. I kind of saw that this friend was into me because we talk every day and I kind of like the person too. Oh, if I like so them, they like day, me, they, for sure. They said that they like someone and uh, began asking relationship advice for me. Uh-oh. Mm. No! So the person they You're like is not from a good sword. Oh, no! Like, they like to play around on the relationship and stuff. Should I have stopped my friend from the liking that other person? Should I have confessed the person so to stop them from going to the wrong path. Fast forward to today. No, we didn't end up together. Forever alone, Leo. Oh, no! Oh. If they're asking you for dating advice, you already got friend zoned. Yeah, <laughs> I think friend, Dale. I think it was over the moment they asked you for advice. God dang, yo, can we get some 07s, dude? I would totally salute if I could right now. Riff. 07, Dale. I totally get this feeling because this happened to me as well. This happened to you? Yeah. Did you submit this question? School? Maybe. <laughs> no, it's not me. It's hey, not me. Yeah. It happens. It's so sad. Kenya the alone. I was in the school, and in the school, there was a, the guy I like. We're of getting along and we play game together after we came home from school and stuff like that right and yeah. one day i saw that like he was doing that like uh answering some q a stuff on the website and i was uh, looking for it like some question about like oh, what is your name yeah or like uh, how old are you stuff like that yeah and there's a one question sister what is your person who you likes names initial like uh, for henya is a genius they'll be like hg like that <gasps> Name that it's not me. And I was like, no. Henya, what if that person watches you now? Fuck you, Daya. What? <laughs> you gave up on them? Yeah. But what if they love you now, Henya? Break you, Suzuki. <laughs> I don't have a single drop of a sex drive. <laughs> But my partner does. What? what are we supposed to do about that? What is this sex drive, Dale? So that means like your desire to, to get to business, you know? Wait, in the car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they drive around. Yeah, they drive in the car. Yeah, they do it in the car. Oh, okay. So what do you think? Do you think maybe they just pull over and then have sex? What do you think? Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe pull over, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah. No, that makes Wait, sense. Wait, do you get caught for doing that or not? I don't know. I mean, you, you technically you're in outside. If you saw two hot people doing it in a car next to you, would you report them to the police? Eh? Yeah, I'm just gonna run away as fast as I can. No, yeah. Party pooper, frick you. Just hop in, <laughs> dick and shad. What about you? I would never have sex while driving a car. That's really dangerous. That sounds like a lot of things, right? Like, if before you marry someone, you want to ask if they want to have kids, right? Before you mm -hmm. date someone, you probably want to ask if they're down for fornication, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably gonna be a deal breaker if you guys are too far apart. For the safety, probably don't do it. Yeah. And try to talk about it to her. And yeah, if it doesn't work out, say I'm not a... What should I do if my date asks me to smell their handkerchief? What do you mean by that? Um, ask them if they have a yeast infection. Inspection. Yeah, so what would you do, Henya, if your date handed you a weird handkerchief and said, can you smell it for me? That's... That sounds dangerous, isn't Wait it? Wait a second! That's not white chocolate. This is chloroform! Wait, they're gonna... Do you yeah. know... They're gonna, I would have died. That's I'm so dead, Henya. I died. No, don't do it, Billy. I would have died. If, if this were me, I'd be dead right now. I would have smelled the handkerchief and just passed the frick out. Please, oh wise ones, I require your help. Oh. I am very clumsy, and I'm afraid of being a bother to my partner. But how often I forget things, or drop things, or speaking too loudly. I spilled chili on someone once, which led you to make sure my date goes trouble free. Chad, I'm gonna be honest with you. All of these signs make me feel like you might be autistic. And you just gotta own it. Talking way too loudly for no reason is like one of the biggest indicators. I think a lot of people likes the clumsy girl, I think, because mm -hmm. look at the 
saying that. I see a lot of clumsy girl in there. If you're clumsy, all you gotta do is trip over and fall on top of them like an anime moment, and then you accidentally yeah. grope them, and they're like, oh no, senpai, and you guys get married, you know? Yeah, like teehee type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, like teehee. <laughs> Disclaimer, if this is real life, you go to jail, and you do not collect $200. But as long as it's not a real girl, maybe if it's like, like a cardboard cutout, it could work pretty well. I think these questions are like the easiest solution to all of them is like, for every man out there that's a certain way, there's a woman out there who is the exact same way. And you just gotta mm -hmm. find that person, you know? What yep, if my yep, girlfriend yep. pointed a gun at me and told me to say she isn't flat chested? Would you rather live a life of lies or would you rather die a hero? Yeah, Chief Dale. Julian. Yeah. What? Say I'm not a flat. What? I'm not flat, right? Yeah, I, oh, uh, uh, you're not, you're. Henny, you, you're flat chested. Take this! No! Thank you for a glove today. <laughs>